The monthly totals of Texans who've been quitting their jobs and getting hired for new jobs are still impressive. Workers have been in demand. They've had a record number of jobs to choose from and an unusual amount of negotiating power. But we all know that all of that can turn on a dime. As the Fed keeps raising interest rates to slow the economy down, there is a chance of recession. And a new survey says that most people still feel confident about their job prospects, but 29% of workers are now starting to worry about being laid off if economic conditions worsen. Now, we don't know how many of those are relatively new hires, but I would bet you that many of them may be new on the job because let's look at who you usually gets cut. Layoffs are traditionally determined by performance reviews or employee rankings. If you haven't been working for your employer for very long, it might be hard for you to shine if you and your more tenured co-workers are reviewed or ranked. And that brings us right to another way that layoffs are determined, the last in first out model, where the most recent hires are the ones who are let go. Now, that might be especially a worry for you if you came aboard not long ago and they paid you significantly more to lure you in a competitive job market. The good news is that there are still almost a million open jobs at last count here in Texas. So if there is a recession, there may be more jobs than usual to jump to if you lose yours. And it's possible that many employers with those openings will cut those unfilled positions instead of actual workers. Now, it helps that workers have been so hard to come by for so long long too because especially if employers think an economic downturn might be brief they may be more careful than usual about cutting loose employees who have been so hard to get in the first place i get more into this in today's article which i have posted at jason wheeler tv on facebook and twitter where i'm working to keep you on the job and right on the money